Hey everybody, it is Colin. I am at the back of the Dragon Welcome Center and I've got a treat for you guys. I'm gonna introduce you to a gentleman named Larry. And Larry, this gentleman <laughs> right in front of you, is actually the guy that started this whole thing from the back of the Dragon. So I'm gonna introduce you to him. I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit of a story about the road itself and then about the Welcome Center. So Larry, take it away, introduce yourself, sir. Hey, thank you, uh, it's a privilege. Larry Davidson, uh, as we were talking earlier, uh, the road is, is basically the key, and the road is second to none. Um, with three mountain ranges, elevation up to 3,500 feet, 438 curves, uh, S's, switchbacks, slaloms, everything you'd want in a European road. And you and I were talking about why did I think that? Well. Uh, I'm retired U.S. Army and I had a chance to travel in uh, Europe, for instance. Uh, you would have to go to Bavaria, Germany, uh, parts of uh, Scotland, Ireland, to find a road uh, like we have right here. So how did it all come about? You, you named this road? Uh, yes. Uh, when I came back to this area, I retired in 99. Um, we were having some difficulty and I thought, well man, we've got a road that's fantastic. Why aren't we promoting the road and bringing people to the Tazewell, Tazewell County area to see our beautiful area? So uh, I went and uh, worked with tourism and development, ended up in Richmond in front of the governor wow. and uh, we presented him with a t-shirt. I started out with 12 t-shirts and a backpack. And uh, he thought it was a great idea. We got it passed through, and this road is actually named Back of the Dragon. So you, when people say, I'm going to the Back of the Dragon, you could officially say you're the person that came up with the whole idea. You're the person that went to the, to the uh, state and said, I want this official. And then on both sides of the road, it now has a sign that says Back of the Dragon, and it is official. Yes. That and is so but, cool, dude. But, but I, may, <laughs> I may also add to this, there's a lot of people that helped me along the way sure. that seen, uh, you know, that what we were trying to do. We came up with the logo that you see, uh, the Back of the Dragon logo, the original one, and then we worked from there to other ideas and other concepts. But... Uh, as you asked me to also explain a little bit about uh, the Back of the Dragon Center, yeah. my, our whole goal was is to make a place that was conducive for those of us who ride and drive. So right now you have like a whole entire merchandise section, so you got all of these, and then you came up with your own logo right here? Yes. All right. Yes. That's awesome. We have uh, worked with a, a local artisan and came up with uh, different ideas and different ways to uh, to try to please everybody when they cut something for everybody and then right here um, so you have a, looks like a bar or a coffee bar yes and a brewery yes and if I if I may show you one thing that we sure. came up with uh, Virginia for lovers you see a lot of these t-shirts oh, so we uh, through tourism and development they worked with us our uh, uh, A.J. Robinson worked with the tourism, she's our tourism director here, and to, for Virginia to go wild. with this. So th I we didn't actually, see that before when I was in yeah. here, but you saw a lot of those. Yes. So talk about this. Well, so, you can come here, you can have uh, uh, all different type of special coffees. Uh, we wanted that for those that ride and drive in the morning when they come in to get that good hot cup of java. Nice. Uh, we also have the uh, frozen yogurt machines for us us kids. I say us <laughs> kids that like yogurt. Um, we also uh, wanted to give things like we got glasses. If you lost your glasses or, or broke your sunglasses on the way here, uh, you know, we wanted to do things that would complement, that would help you on your journey coming to see the back of the dragon. So mugs and things like that. Uh, Hats. Um, you got all kinds of stuff here, man. This is great. Um, now, just so everybody knows, like two and a half years ago, I was up in this neck of the woods. Maybe it was like two years ago. Yeah. And at the time, this was just being started, so it was just a shell inside. Yes. And you guys had a little place out back. Yes, we had and a little what, double wide. What this has transformed to is amazing, guys. I mean, and it's a really sharp and looking. Love it. 
and it and as as you and I've also talked uh, with the. Uh, we offer things like how many times you've been out and literally lost a glove or, yeah. or, or misplaced, you know. So we wanted to do things like that. Uh, we wanted to give some flair of uh, uh, a great place to sit and uh, even right down to being able to get some of your old favorite candy we used to get when we was a kid, That's you know. Wild. Then over here on this wall we have maps with working with tourism. Uh, you can come and get maps of the area. And uh, we furnish those. Nice. And you have a brewery. Oh, yes, sir. Talk if to me about step your brewery. right out. Okay. Well, we have a brewery. We, tr we uh, uh, brew uh, a vast amount of what we sell here. Uh, we also work with a, another brewery called Seven Dogs. So nice. we're in the process of... Uh, and we've developed uh, our own uh, with our own brewmaster, so we're nice. we're a work in progress uh, so right now. Okay, so here's all your back of the dragon brewery. Yes, and if you nice. see if you see here, you can come and get a growler, different sizes. Uh, yeah, that would and be uh, it, you know to take. And, I think uh, I might have to buy one of those. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, now, what is this? Okay, this is the new I pour, and if you can see right now, this gentleman is. Uh, pouring right now. You're going to be on a, a video, uh, so you can be uh, a demonstration person. <laughs> so, so uh, uh, and, and you can see, you get to taste, you can taste your own, uh, you can try and find out if you want to pour an ounce, you can pour an ounce and taste it, and then you can go through and find something that you like. Uh, if you notice, uh, this is, when, when you brew your own beer, you know, we have went with Scottish Ale Exports, uh, American lager. Uh, the blonde ale is something like you would have if you wanted a Budweiser. But I will tell you this, uh, you get uh, a wristband and you get to pour so many ounces right, and well, then it's cut off. Can you get me a wristband and I'll just let you hold the camera for a while and then I'll take care of this. This is nice. I need one of these in my basement. <laughs> so, all right, now up top here, you yeah. have a bunch of pictures. And, 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 and I'm going to be the first to admit this, and I'm not just saying this because I'm here. Yes, sir. I prefer Back of the Dragon better than Tail of the Dragon. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because it looks like B.O. Was it B.O.T.D. Picks? Yes. At the back of the or the Tail of the Dragon, what's the kill? The Kilroy. Name of the, Kilroy, thank you. That company that takes pictures. So it looks like you guys are doing the exact same thing on the back of the Dragon. Because that is like one well, of my favorite sparts, parts right there. Yeah. Uh, it's Kunzu, is that correct? Kudzu. 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 Yeah. Well, if, if I may add something to that, you know, uh, Tale of the Dragon is, is, a, is a total different ride than what we are. It is. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, a, it's, it's a good ride. And, uh, you know, we want people to come and enjoy. Uh, you know, if you've ridden a tail, come ride the back. If you're riding the back, come, go ride the tail, you know. Uh, total two different rides. And the main thing is the reason why is that uh, we're dealing with elevation changes. So your CG on your bike is constantly changing whether you're going up or going down. I love this road. <laughs> it's fun. Hey, look, you got cornhole. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. cool. We have uh, we have cornhole, and wow, uh, we have a lot. We even have, have actually had uh, cornhole tournaments, and uh, so uh, you know to explain that. Now I like how when you guys design this, you have the opening and closing, like the garage doors. Well, when the weather is conducive, yes, it's beautiful. We had a we have a breeze uh, that blows through, and it just feels great. You oh, can yeah. come out here. Just a shame it's raining, but I'm hoping it. It's been raining, but look. look oh, I know. Wait, isn't, see some isn't that blue great? skies. Yeah. And you guys have a uh, food truck. Oh, we have a food truck with a chef, and the food is excellent. Uh, I think you have eaten the food, have you? I have not actually ate here, but what do you have to offer? And I'll try it right now. <laughs> no, well, hey. I'm just kidding. Uh, we got uh, today their specials is uh, catfish poor boy and uh, shrimp poor boy, but you have the standard menu, which is uh, uh, the dragon burger, uh, the Khaleesi, uh, the prey, uh, just great food. And like I said, this, this is done by chef. Is somebody a Game of Thrones fan? Like, uh, maybe. Just asking. Oh, maybe. I'm asking that. Well, okay, so the back of this, your building, you got the back of the dragon sign. Now, a lot of people, when they come here, the number one thing they want to stop by, because I guarantee 
we're gonna there's probably gonna be someone around the corner even if it's still just lightly raining yeah they got to stop in front of this fixture we're gonna come back to this in just a minute i'm gonna show you this jeep um your dragon i want you to explain this sculpture to everybody kind of how it all came about how you design it and you know this is basically the staple when you come down here because everybody stops in front of this yeah parks their bikes, take some pictures. And luckily right now, there's nobody in here. We got a lot of bikes, a lot of people inside. Yeah. So talk to me about this thing. Well, we wanted to, uh, since the road is intimidating and very technical, we wanted a dragon that when you stood in front of it, took your picture, that it was intimidating. <laughs> and so it's, it's kind of on the, um, Kind of on the idea of uh, like a Game of Thrones dragon, like you said, but it was more of the idea. And this this dragon was uh, sculptured and built by Jack Hagerman, and Jack is uh, a local artisan, and he done a fantastic job. This was made out of actually big blocks, six six by four. Uh, styrofoam and he cut it every bit out and then he coated it with the stuff as hard as concrete. Wow. Now two years ago when I came up here, yeah, they were just moving this in. Yeah. I think they were just moving yeah. this in. Yeah. Okay, now you got it. I'm a Jeep guy. Okay. So I, I love Jeeps. Alright. I think this is your Jeep. Uh I'm yes it envious. is. Yes, so it is. This Rubicon over here. Well, uh, and I absolutely love these wheels on this thing. You got to give me a quick synopsis <laughs> of this Jeep. Well, uh, we're uh, we also uh, we're getting ready uh, down below us to offer uh, 200 miles of Jeep trails. It's going to be called the Jawbone. Uh, you'll be able to come here eventually, and uh, um, we have uh, a local club here called uh, the Dragon Off-Road Club. Nice. And so, you know, hey, it's fun to ride the sports car. It's fun to ride the bike. But daggone, if isn't it isn't fun to get out and get muddy. That is a nice uh, And uh, <laughs> so uh, this thing has looked like a mud dauber, so to speak. Uh, this took me two days to clean it. Oh, but wow. uh, the sharp. trails that, uh, you know, you have different color trails. Uh, whether the to whether it's real hard or nice trail just for a leisure ride, but uh, kind of letting it uh, represent back of the dragon and to show that you know we're about outdoors. Okay, we're about uh, the total outdoor picture. Let's end it with this. All right. Talk to me about these flags. First, I didn't even tell you earlier. I apologize. Thank yeah. you so much for your service. Well, thank you. So I, we I appreciate what that. you've done, and thank you. Well, talk about these flags, because when you first told me about these, I think a lot of people not realize they're here. Well, yes. What I wanted to do, being uh, retired uh, and respecting all those that serve, regardless of branch of service, uh, I came in and uh, talked with our partners, and they agreed. We wanted uh, basically some uh, a flag memorial to put in the back of back of the dragon to show that uh, you know, hey, we're patriots, and uh, good for you. Uh, we we want it, and also to honor those that served in the different branches: Air Force, uh, Marine Corps, uh, Navy and uh, uh, Coast Guard to uh, the new branch of service that uh, Space Force. America, uh, look at that. You even got the Space Force in there. Yeah, That's and awesome. of course, uh, Good for you. Uh, out of uh, the Vietnam era and the POW, uh, and those who didn't make it back, of course it represents uh, those that were lost to Korea and God bless you, brother. And, you know, good so for but you. Good on you. We want we wanted people to realize that uh, hey, we do care. We do ride. We do drive. We do go out and get dirty. But uh, we wanted to make a place that was really just a great place for you to come enjoy and uh, to have the amenities. I think you've succeeded. Well, we've tried, <laughs> and uh, as I always say, you know, hey, God's blessed us, and uh, you know, you got to you got to step forward, and we we've been trying to step forward. Larry, I really want to thank you today for taking uh, 15 minutes of your time to kind of sure. show us your passion, talk about how you came up with the back of the dragon, the actual road itself. Which, for those of you who have never rode it, please come down to Tazewell, Virginia, and ride it. Well worth it. And then from creating this entire uh, Back of the Dragon, your whole vision's kind of coming to fruition. And uh, be proud of yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. So I really want to appreciate you guys, are you taking the time to do this. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hopefully this video was cool for you to watch. 
is very interesting for what I learned today um, because I had no idea until I sat down and started talking to Larry <laughs> about this, all the ins and outs of the whole back of the dragon. Well, all right, now everybody get out there and ride. Even if it's a little wet, that's okay, and the sun's coming out, so life is good again. Be well, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.